deserve my praise You alone deserve all the honor We lift you high Yahweh Citizens, we are on day two of the Hosting Heaven Conference 2021. 
Welcome, my darlings. My name is Susie, and I'm your facilitator for today and for the next couple of days. We are in day two of a seven-day extraordinary conference that is just going to change your lives. I know I was never ready yesterday because I thought it was just like, oh my goodness, I'm coming in. I've been in the conferences before. I love the conferences. I'm just open to hear what God is going to say. And I'm telling you, year in and year out, I was never ready for the outpouring of what it is that God wants to give through these incredible speakers that just come in and they just pour into your life. And this incredible praise and worship, surprise and dumisani, just allowing and ushering the presence of God in. Oh my goodness, it has already been lit. It has been lit. And I am super, super excited to be here. If you're joining us for the very first time, welcome, darling. Welcome. You are now part of the tribe officially, and we are super excited for you to be here, and you will not be disappointed. So that expected hearted spirit that you have, get ready. <laughs> and if you have been with us yesterday, welcome. The party keeps going on. We give God all the praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is awesome so far. Now listen, my darlings. These sessions are pre-recorded. So you're going to find us here at 7 p.m. South African Standard Time every single day. So I said they were pre-recorded. So we're not live, but I'll tell you this. We are live in the comment section. We are there to engage with you and it is going to be extraordinary. I'm going to be there. Lady Melody is going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. So we're going to be engaging with you in that comment section. So come through, talk to us, engage with us. Remember the theme that Lady Melody said this conference was about. I mean, do you remember what the theme of the conference was? Write it in the comment section. Yes, seasons and times. Oh my goodness. I feel the anointing. <laughs> I'm so excited. We are trusting God. We're trusting God for your appointed and set time. Let me tell you something. You all know this. Whenever there's a problem or whenever there's something that you're wanting, you say, listen, I'm going to call everybody else and I want you to come and I want you to bind your faith with mine. Well, darlings, we are here for you. We are trusting God for you. We know God has a plan for you. We know God has good things for you. So we are all going to combine to trust God for our appointed and set times. Woo! It's already good. It's already good. Now, listen, when something is wonderful and it's good, what do we do? We share. Now, listen, my queens, I want you to get out onto the social streets out there and I want you to follow us. I want you to share our different handles. If you are on Instagram, you're looking at Hosting Heaven Conference. That's where you'll find us on Facebook, House of Hosting Heaven. And here on the YouTube channel, House of Hosting Heaven. And while you're here on this channel, listen. I want you to click like and subscribe. Also share. Share these links with your friends. Share them as far as they can go because we want everybody to come on this journey with us and just have a wonderful time. And here, as you can see, this gorgeous merchandise. These books are available right across on Amazon. You can find them on Amazon and they are shipped right across South Africa. So if you are looking to get yourself the book, the Hosting Heaven book right here with Lady Melody, looking ever so beautiful, that's going to be 150 Rand. And if you're going to get yourself this 30 days of three minute prayers for newlyweds, this is a new baby that's been birthed. The new book that's come out from Lady Melody. It is amazing. That's going to be 100 rands Now, gifts 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 i want you to buy these and be a blessing to somebody else be a blessing because it's their birthday be a blessing because it's their anniversary be a blessing because they just got married or just be a blessing because you can be that girl i'm just going to be a blessing just because i can get these books and share them now the 30 days of three minute prayers for newlyweds yes if you were here yesterday, darlings, you know, that question probably came up. But Suze, remember what I said? Suze, I'm not married. And me, do I get the book? What? Yeah, you get the book. I've got the book. That's my copy, ladies. That's my copy. Get the book. Be a blessing to other people. And learn, 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 and learn. Learn. So be a blessing to each and every person. And you won't regret it. Because this is such... 
such a beautiful combo do the two if you want but choose one if you want or just do the two because you can <laughs> i love it now i know a party is not a party if there aren't any free gifts and we've got you women we know you love to shop but most importantly we know you love those free things girl i am here for that energy i am one of those people i love me giveaways and you will not be disappointed because we have thought of you so here are some giveaway instructions listen closely ladies i want you to follow us on our instagram handle which is at hosting heaven conference right once you get there i want you to tag us tag us on the instagram story so you know what we want you to do we want you to have a group photo or have a photo by yourself tag us and don't forget to put the hashtag seasons and times seasons and times do that this is what you need to do to get into this whole stream of giveaways now comment in the comment section during the conference as well mm, it's going to be good because there are going to be even more prizes that are coming through now listen 10 of the most frequent commentators in the comment section will get a soft copy of the hosting heaven planner the hosting heaven planner now listen this planner is absolutely beautiful all of you i know like to do things on your laptops and on your phone so you're going to get that beautiful soft planner for yourself and names will be announced on our instagram page so watch out for that but one lucky person oh you gotta be diligent as you do this one lucky person gets the entire hosting heaven combo hmm. which is it's going to have the hosting heaven book the hosting heaven hard copy of the planner as well as this beautiful new release from lady melody the 30 days of three minute prayers that's what you're gonna get that beautiful combo all oh, hard copy mm. i know if you like me i like to touch things i like to touch books i love to smell the books Ooh, i love it i'm just like i can feel the anointing <laughs> Oh, don't take yourselves too seriously, my darlings. But yeah, one of you is going to get that one combo. So keep engaging with us. We are looking out for you. We are rooting for you. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Now, one of the things that I love to say personally about life is the stage of life is big enough for everybody to shine. Everybody gets an opportunity to shine. And I tell you, that's the beauty of being part of this particular tribe, of being part of the Hosting Heaven Conference, because we fundamentally believe that everybody gets an opportunity to shine. So what's going to happen shortly is we're going to go into a commercial break. And there you're going to see some of the things that some of your beautiful sisters have been doing. You're going to take a look at what they've been up to and what they've been birthing. Because what? The stage of life is big enough for absolutely everybody to shine. And once we're done with that commercial break, we're going to segue very quickly into the time of praise and worship where Surprise and Dumi Sunny will just take us there. They're going to take us no, we'll leave the singing to them. They're taking us there. But before we get there, before we get to that praise and worship, we're going to take a short commercial break. Check this out for yourself. Hey, ladies. I am Busi Sholo, a mom blogger and mom coach. I am so excited to bring you this ebook, which I have designed to help you to eliminate your stumbling blocks, get clear on what you want, and create a game plan to pursue your dreams in the midst of motherhood. Click on the link in the description box to get yours today and to follow more of my content check me out on social media on youtube and on the blog i am at busi sholo everywhere Mwah. i will lift my voice I will see, I will sing holy, holy to my Lord and Savior, my God and King. I will sing holy. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him 
can't give the praise to Him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before His throne forever, forever. Well, hello, beloved. I'm so, so, so excited to be part of the Hosting Heaven Conference. And I just want to honor Melody, Minister Melody, the woman of God. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this wonderful uh, time, this wonderful conference, and what God is doing in this conference. We give him the glory. Thank you so much. And I honor you as always. I thank you. I bless you. And I also want to honor all the speakers, all the women of God that are part of the conference. I honor you, I bless you, and I'm so honored to be ministering with you. And to the daughters of God watching this video, who I am so honored to minister to you today, I pray that you can receive this word with a heart, with a heart that is like good soil, and that this word ministers into your life and produces a powerful result and harvest in your life of righteousness, holiness, and everything that you have been called to do in this season of your life. So we just uh, pray quickly before we go straight into the word of the Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this time that you've given us, oh God. Thank you for an open heaven, O oh Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power, for your move that is at work even now. As I minister, Spirit of God, let your daughters receive this word. Let it shift and change them to where they need to be in this season of their life. Oh God, let them be edified. Let this truth set them free, O oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. Lord, we bless you. We thank you and be glorified through this word. Not I, but you, O oh God, for you deserve the glory, King of Kings. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. 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 So let's just go straight into the word of the Lord. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 38 which says now in the sixth month the angel gabriel was sent by god to a city of galilee named nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was joseph of the house of david the virgin's name was mary and having come in the angel said to her rejoice highly favored one the lord is with you blessed are you among women but when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Amen. Time and seasons. Seasons and time. You know, we know time and seasons according to this physical realm. We look at the sun, the moon, the stars, the months. We look at the clock, 24 hours, 12 hours. We look at the months and the days. And by these things, we can tell time and seasons. But these things do not always correlate with the time and the season of God for our lives. Maybe you're watching this video and there's a time that you're expecting something to happen in your life. You're looking at spring and by summer you're expecting something to take place in your life. For Mary, she was in a time of betrothal. She was engaged to a man named Joseph of the house of David. Mary was minding her own business. She was going about her life. Her life was about to change from being single to, be being, to being married. She was a girl just living her quiet life, private life, hoping for marriage waiting for marriage and in her season of betrothal and in those days betrothal was very serious it was like a marriage and so there would be a certificate that would be given in those days of betrothal according to the law she was already joseph's wife but yet she had to wait the time frame that was needed and in those days you had to wait about a year and the husband would go and prepare a house for you and then he will come and blow the chauffeur and then there will be a procession where he will take you to the house that he has prepared for you and then you begin to live together as husband and wife and so Mary is preparing herself to be the wife of Joseph who is coming from the house of King David now I don't know what you are waiting for child of God you are watching people around your life maybe you're waiting for marriage maybe you can see that it is very close perhaps you're in a relationship Maybe you're waiting for a certain promotion in your job and you can see that you are in the vicinities, you are in the environment of promotion. There's a shifting and a change in your life physically and you can see that something is about to happen. Suddenly a door is about to happen for me. Suddenly my breakthrough is coming. But God's times and seasons are not like our times and seasons. God's time frames do not always correlate with our plans and our visions. Perhaps you've been to university, you've studied for so many years, you have articulated your future, you have calculated your future with precision, and you're so sure of where you want to go in life. But times and seasons in this physical realm do not always go with the times and seasons of God. And so, Mary is preparing herself for marriage. 
She's getting herself ready as a bride. Then she has a visitation from the Lord. You see, Mary is about to conceive. Mary is carrying a conception that has a title called wife. But God has in mind for her to carry something that is greater than marriage. God has in mind for Mary to carry a seed that is greater than a title called wife. And so he sends the angel Gabriel. And Gabriel begins to say, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And Mary is trying to consider what is this? What manner of greeting is this? How am I the blessed one? How am I the favored one? I don't know if God is interrupting your time and season. You are in a relationship, but suddenly it looks like it's on a standstill. It's not really leading to marriage. You are in a job, but suddenly there's an interruption. There's a greeting that is interrupting the progress of where you want to go in life. It seems like you are in a standstill. It seems that there's a little bit of a delay because of a greeting that has come into your life. Because of a visitation that has come into your life. And so Mary is trying to understand this kind of visitation. Is God visiting you in this season of your life? Could it be that the delays, the stagnancy, could it be that that has nothing to do with the enemy and the kingdom of darkness? Could it be that there's a strategic seed that God wants to plant into your heart that will give forth Something that will change a generation, change your background, change patterns in your family. Could it be that there's something that God is doing in you? There's a shift and a change that God is doing in your life. The angel says, do not be afraid, Mary. Do not be afraid of this manner of greeting. Do not be afraid of this interruption. Do not be afraid of how this is an awkward situation. An angel, a male angel, a male person. In those days, it was very awkward. A man and a woman talking. Very awkward. Do not be afraid of how awkward this situation looks right now. The situation in your life. A situation of time and seasons, a situation of delay. Do not be afraid of how the season of your life today looks very awkward to everybody else. Does the season of your life look awkward according to culture, according to your background, according to traditions in the church, according to society? Maybe the situation, the season that you're in, it seems a bit too strange. Mary is in a season of preparation to be a wife. But there's an awkward situation where an angel who comes in the form of a man is giving her words that do not make sense at that time and season of her life. Remember, the times and the seasons in this physical realm do not always correlate with the time and the season of God. And so he says, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And he begins to describe what this favor looks like. You see, the favor of God doesn't always look like favor in this realm. The favor of God upon your life may not look like favor to your family today, but they will understand in the next five years. The favor of God may not look like favor according to the financial markets, but do not be afraid because in the next two years, it will begin to look like favor according to their understanding, according to the mindset of the financial markets and the environment and the climate of society. It will begin to look like favor. It may not look it today. He says, you are, you have found favor with God and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Jesus, God with us. Jesus, God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Son of the living God who would die for the sins of men and women and children, the entire world and change a generation and shift the way that the Torah and the prophets is understood today. Do not be afraid. You shall bring forth a son. 
there's a seed that I'm putting inside of you. You see, Jesus is the only begotten son and he's the only one who's born of a virgin. So in these days, it's not going to happen again. However, there's a seed that God is placing in your heart. There's a seed that God has placed in the womb of your heart. And he's saying, do not be afraid. You see, I'm interrupting your plans. Yes, it looks like now you are in your 30s and it's now the season of marriage. But it doesn't look like there's any prospects. Could it be that there's a seed that God has placed in the womb of your heart? And that seed is a priority now before the title of wife. Could it be that now as you're begging people for finances, you're asking people for help, could it be that God is placing a seed of entrepreneurship and business that will grow in the womb of your heart and begin to overflow into your life as the Spirit of God begins to teach you about finances in the secret place. You see, He will begin to nurture that seed, the Word of the Lord and the Spirit of God, the power of God with the Word of God will begin to nurture what God is conceiving in the womb of your heart. The angel says, look, you're about to give forth. The angel begins to describe the greatness of Jesus, what he stands for, who he is, why he has come. And he says he will be great. He will be called the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. You see, you are going to marry a man named Joseph who is coming from the house of David. But there's something that I'm putting inside of you. And that something is a seed. His name is Jesus Christ. And he will have the throne of his father, David. This is greater than a lineage. This is about kingdom. This is about thrones and dominion and power. This is greater than a lineage of David, greater than a background. This is about power. This is about dominion. This is about changing a generation. Times and seasons. What season are you in today? Is God interrupting your plans and you're doing warfare, not knowing that this is the will of the Father because there's greatness that is placed inside of you. Maybe you're watching this video and you cannot see the greatness of this seed that he has planted in the womb of your heart. You desire so much the season and the time that is physical. You desire so much the things of the physical that you cannot see the greatness of that which is spiritual yet. That which is still hidden in your womb, the womb of your heart. You cannot yet see its greatness because maybe it hasn't manifested yet in the physical realm. I pray that you can begin to understand the greatness of the promises that God gave you in the secret place. There's promises that God told you and gave you. There's things that God told you in the secret place. Things that do not make sense right now. And so you're planning your life, but yet there's an alarm that is ringing. And God is saying, remember what I told you. Remember what I promised you. Remember what I planted in you. It's not yet the season. Do not worry about the delay. Do not worry about what everybody else is doing and where they are running to. For I am doing something inside of you. There is greatness that I am forming in the womb of your heart. You will bring forth a son and he will be great. The angel says. Then Mary says, how can this be since I do not know a man? How can it be that you're showing me all these great things? How can it be that God has told me these things in prayer? How can it be that people are prophesying this over my life? I cannot see the conducive means in my environment. I do not know how to do these things. I do not have experience. I do not have anybody to help me. Are you looking at your physical circumstances, judging and limiting the power of God based on what you do not have today. The Lord is calling the daughters of God to rise up in this season, to rise up, to rise up as Deborah's, to rise up as Esther's, rise up as Ruth, rise up as leaders in nations, rise up, rise up with power, but yet with humility, 
with strength yet with gentleness the lord is calling his daughters to rise up in this season despite the limitations will you rise up despite the time and the season that doesn't look conducive for you despite things that look like delays despite the limitations that are around your life today can you rise up mary says how can this be this doesn't make sense to my logic how can god make me to carry something that is so great i am not experienced in these things i'm just trying to live my life i'm just trying to do what everybody else is doing god does not want you to do what everybody else is doing this is why he has chosen you and he has put that seed in this season of your life do not be afraid he says do not be intimidated by what you're carrying because you're a woman do not be intimidated by what you're carrying because you're young do not be intimidated by what you're carrying because of your race and your background your ethnicity do not be intimidated by what you're carrying because of your circumstances mary seems a little bit intimidated how can this be logic begins to kick in understanding reasoning begins to kick in how can this be since i do not know a man i'm still a virgin i'm not yet married how can i be pregnant but these things are spiritual and nothing is too hard for the lord you see when god gives you a word it's coming with the skills it's coming with the equipment that it needs it's coming with all that it needs for it to come to pass and you have the holy spirit and the word of god can you nurture can you take a hold on the seed that is trying to plant that the seed that is planting in the womb of your heart the angel begins to explain to her and he says it's not about might nor by power but it's by the holy spirit the spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you therefore also that holy one will be born he will be called the son of god this is not about your capabilities your intelligence your experiences in life your background your family it's about the holy spirit power of god do you understand that he that is in you is greater than the season he that is in you is greater than the delay he that is in you is greater than the limitation. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. It's about the spirit of God. And so the angel begins to say, look, there's people around your life. Look, this is such a delicate matter. The seed that you're carrying requires you to be around people that understand what you're carrying. You see, when you are carrying something in a season that looks like it's not going anywhere, you need to surround yourself with people who are like-minded, people who can see your value, people who can appreciate and not question what you are carrying in this season. This is a season when you need to surround yourself with an Elizabeth. The angel says, look, let me point you in the right direction because people are not going to understand what you're carrying in this season because they look at age they look at the weeks they look at the sun and the moon and the stars they look at autumn spring winter and summer they don't understand the season of god you need to be around somebody that understands the time and the season of god according to the spirit and he says look there's a miracle that is taking place your relative elizabeth is also conceiving a son in her old age, in her old age and now is in her 6 month she was once barren but there's a miracle that has taken place upon her womb for with god nothing is impossible i pray that the spirit of god can lead you to people who understand that nothing is impossible despite your age your circumstances your background your education i pray that you can surround yourself by the wisdom and the direction of the spirit of god to with people who understand that nothing is impossible with god people who are not suspicious but they can discern people who are not superstitious but they understand the miracles of god people who know how god operates in a season 
of the spirit. It's so very being humble. Well, she submits and she receives what the angel is saying. You see, God will never force us to carry his word. He will never force you to carry his word. He will never force his will on you. You see, it's until Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. The Lord is asking you today, Will you say, Let it be to me according to your word? Despite what the time and the season in this physical realm looks like, will you say, Let it be? Lord, according to your season and your time, let it be to me according to your time and season. Will you allow him to shape greatness out of you? Will you allow him to raise you up despite what you look like, your background, where you're coming from, your age? Will you allow him to shift and change your life despite how things look like today, despite how dry it seems? You see, in the end, we know about marriage. She got married in the end. She became a wife in the end. She had other children in the end. But this was a priority. Oh God, he's looking for daughters that can make his word a priority despite what they're going through. Daughters that can harvest his work. Daughters that are willing to conceive and receive his word inside of them that it may conceive and give forth a harvest of greatness daughters that are not afraid in the season despite what family friends society and environment say are you willing today to accept the time and the season of god are you willing today to receive the time and the season of god for your life are you willing to understand the time and the season of God for your life. For with God, nothing shall it be impossible. And God will never put you to shame. What God does, he exceeds. What God does, he amplifies. His greatness is higher than our understanding of greatness. If God is saying that what he's putting inside of you is great, you better believe him because it will blow your mind. Obedience. To his time and his season is going to blow your mind today. The angel departs after she submits to God's will. Will you submit to God's will for your life in this season? Will you submit to him? Let us pray. Oh God, we submit to your will. Oh Lord, we submit to your plans. Lord, use your people. Use your daughters, those that feel rejected by society, rejected even by times and seasons in this physical realm, rejected, thrown away, oh God. Those that feel disrupted, those that feel they've been delayed, oh God, show them the value of what they are carrying inside the wombs of their heart. Oh God, we pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help them to incubate, to nurture, and to see the greatness and the value of what they are carrying. Surround them, O oh God. Lead them by direction of your spirit to those that they need to surround themselves with, those that understand your season and time for them. Father, this we pray. In the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, you are the God that exceeds our thoughts, exceeds our requests. Oh God, exceed the thoughts of your daughter today. Exceed the understanding. Exceed their requests. Oh God, I pray. In the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, Lord, show them your power by your spirit. Show them your greatness. Show them, oh God, show them that this is the beginning of something that is excellent and phenomenal, something that is extraordinary. This is the beginning of miracles, signs and wonders in their lives. Oh God, help them by your spirit to be willing to submit to your time and seasons. Oh God, I thank you that they will never be late. I thank you that they will not be disappointed. I thank you that they will not be put to shame, but that their joy will be full. I thank you that by your spirit, you will teach them. You will guide them into all truth concerning what they are carrying. Oh God, thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. 
In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Carry what he's put inside of you for this season. Carry his season. Carry his time in your heart. For that is where greatness is being shaped. As you carry his word. As you carry what he has put inside of you. In a moment. In a time. It's coming to pass. And everybody shall see the full harvest. Of what you are carrying in this season. God bless you. So ladies, were you blessed or were you blessed? Tell me in the comment section, what stood out for you when Lady Daphne was speaking? Because I know there were so many things that stood out for me. You're going to see my comments in the comment section because <laughs> like I said, I was just never ready. You're just never ready with the outpouring of the quality of the word that is delivered, the giftings that are just coming through day in and day out. Thank you so much, Lady Daphne. We thank God for you. We celebrate you. We take every word that you have deposited into our hearts and our spirits. We take it seriously because we are the girls that are doers. So thank you so much for that. Now, ladies, I just want to keep encouraging you to take your pictures tag us on your Instagram stories. And I want you to remember to use these hashtags because we want these hashtags to go through. Hashtag 2021 hosting heaven conference, hashtag seasons and times. Woo! It's going to be lit. Now, listen, darlings, I neglected to mention with regards to those giveaways, ha, apart from those 10 giveaways and that one combo, there's also going to be a surprise gift. Mm. Susie, what's the surprise, guys? Do you want to know what the surprise is? Do you want to know what the surprise is? Yes, no, yes, yes. Probably, you're probably saying yes. Do you want to know what the surprise? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> so you are just going to have to wait because it's a surprise. Ladies, we are looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. You're going to be blessed you're going to be encouraged. You're going to be stretched. You're going to be enlightened. You're going to be just torn into so many different pieces because you're going to be like, oh my goodness, Lord, where, what, what's going on? It's just so good. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to start. Calm down. We're here for you. We're going to unpack everything for you. We're going to work together, but tomorrow it's just going to get better and better and better. So my darlings, I look forward to you being on the journey with us tomorrow on day three, because you know it's going to be lit. Be blessed. I will lift my voice and I will see I will sing holy, holy to my Lord and Savior, my God and King. I will sing holy, holy. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before. For his throne forever, forever, holy, holy, holy. Oh
and they bow down and they cry holy holy we are the sons and daughters and we praise you now and we cry holy I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing. Rome forever, forever, holy, holy, Oh